so today we're going to be installing Ubuntu Mate 21.04 on the Raspberry Pi 4. And one thing about this that is different from the other versions, as of now, if we go over to the Ubuntu Mate website, and we go over to the download section, and go to Raspberry Pi 64-bit, right now there is no 21.04 option. They still only have the 20.10 20 version available on their website. So that is kind of a bummer, but I do have a way of getting the 21.04 version on the Raspberry Pi 4. So in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be going over how to do that. And then the next part of the video is just going to be taking a look at Ubuntu Mate. And is it good? What, what do we have there? We're going to be taking a look at that. But to get started, to start this process, you're actually going to need the Ubuntu server. So you're going to need Ubuntu server 21.04. You can either download the 64-bit version from this website, or you can go right ahead, open up the Raspberry Pi Imager, and it's actually available right here. Go choose OS, and in other general purpose OS, we have Ubuntu, and then right here we have Ubuntu Server 21.04, but that's a 32-bit version. We want the 64-bit version. Click that one, choose storage, flash it to your SD card or USB stick because Ubuntu 21.04 is USB boot capable out of the box. So that is really great. So once you do that, put it in your Pi and boot it up. So once you boot it up on your Pi, it might look a bit scary right now, but don't worry. We're actually going to have to hit enter, and it says Ubuntu login. You're going to type Ubuntu because that is the default username. Hit Ubuntu, hit enter. It says password. Once again, type Ubuntu because that is the default password. Type Ubuntu, hit enter. It says current. We're going to change the password now. So it says current password, and the current password is Ubuntu. Once more, type Ubuntu, hit enter. The new password is going to be whatever you want. Type in that new password. Hit enter. Retype the same password once more. Hit enter. Give it one second. It's adding those new passwords to the system. And here we are. We are in the Ubuntu server now. We have our own password, and this is our system now. So now we might see, wait, we don't have any desktop. I don't, it doesn't look like Ubuntu mate to me. Well, now we actually have to install that desktop. So the command we're going to want to type in here is sudo apt install ubuntu dash mate dash desktop this will install the ubuntu mate desktop for us hit enter and type in your password that you just changed a few seconds ago type that in hit enter and it's going to grab all these things there is a ton of stuff it needs to install you see right here don't let it scare you it's really not that bad hit y and hit enter and here we go, it's grabbing all the packages needed for the Ubuntu Mate desktop, and this can take around 15 minutes if you don't have a good internet connection, because it also has to install after this stuff. So just be patient, let this thing do its thing, maybe go grab coffee or anything like that. But, yeah. So while it's installing everything you need, it's going to ask you for this. Which um, X Windows system do you want? I want G GDM3 because that's the one I want. But you guys could go with LightDM if you want to. But LightDM can't load any GNOME libraries. So I'm just going to go with GDM3. Hit enter right here. And then it's just going to continue installing everything. And the installation part does take a bit longer than the grabbing all the libraries. But still don't worry. It really doesn't Alrighty, take that long. So it has finally done installing. I have Ubuntu Mate now installed in my system but as you see we are still in this terminal based system so I don't know what to do how am I gonna get out of this well to go to the desktop we actually just have to type sudo reboot and this is gonna reboot and once we re reboot we will be right in the desktop we are now on the Ubuntu Mate desktop and yes we have this new type of look this desktop does look a bit different than the last version of Ubuntu Mate because we have a newer version of a mate and we also have a different icon theme so Overall, I mean, it doesn't look the most modern desktop, but you're going to be getting much better performance over using like the GNOME desktop. So let's go over it right now and see what we have in this desktop. So our default wallpaper actually looks pretty nice. I like those pyramid thingies on there. And then we have the Ubuntu Mate wallpaper right here. On the top right here, we have this thing right here. It's like the about this computer, Mate desktop help and stuff like that. So if we go about this computer... And our, our cursor actually does kind of look like that Windows type of cursor. So right here we see release 21.0464 bit. We're running the kernel 5.11 and we are running mate 1.2.4. And it gives all my other information and it's a pretty nice thing to have the system monitor right there. And then our 
icons right here do look pretty cool actually so that's about it for right there and then if we go over to the main menu right here this is where we basically can see all our pre-installed applications and we can also search for them if we want so there are no favorites by default and all we have about well, let's just go accessories we have backups which is like a backup of your system we have this terminal right here that I don't really like. We have character map, we have firmware, we have mate calculator. So there's a lot of just mate apps here. It does come pre-installed with Vim and Plank, so that is pretty nice. In administration, we have software updates, printers, just some basic things. In the graphics right here, we have document scanner, I have mate image viewer, mate color selection, and shot well. So these are just some default applications. In internet, we come pre-installed with Firefox, which is a web browser, and transmission, which is a torrent client. In office, we come with all the LibreOffice applications, so you don't have to install them yourself. So that is pretty cool. Um, and then preferences, we actually have some nice preferences in here. We have the About Me app that I just showed a few minutes ago. We have additional drivers, which really isn't that useful on the Raspberry Pi because none of the drivers are actually meant for the Raspberry Pi. And then we have File Management, Displays. There's a lot of settings in here, basically. So we'll go over these in a little bit. But in Sound and Video, we have the Celluloid, which is like a video player. Rhythm Box, which plays music files and stuff like that. And system tools we come pre-installed with the mate terminal and the mate disk usage analyzer and the git debbie package installer which that is pretty nice because there are some pretty nice applications in there if i'm not gonna lie universal access there are just some other things in here and then control center is basically where we have all our settings so, that, so there are a lot of settings in here you could really go through here and it's really easy to find all of them because they're all grouped together in this one app so it's, I actually really like this kind of idea. You can just search for the setting and you get straight to it. So it's really simple and easy to find. But one thing we're not getting on this version of Ubuntu Mate as the last versions where we don't have the Ubuntu Welcome because when we had that pre-installed desktop, they would code the Ubuntu Welcome for the Raspberry Pi, but this version does not have that. So you can't like change the de desktop color like you could on that one as easily because we don't have that Ubuntu Welcome, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not a huge deal. But let's take a look and see how much RAM we're actually using right now. So let's open up a terminal, Control alt t and our terminal is white, which I kind of like that white terminal. And the font is also pretty nice. So I am I actually really like this. So let's type H top. Right now we are idle and we are using about 750 megabytes of RAM. So it is still a bit higher than other desktops like Raspberry Pi OS or LXDE, like I've shown in my other videos. But is this lower than GNOME? Definitely is it lower. And even if it does look like, like it's using a lot of RAM, it just feels so much snappier and there's like those loading times feel so much better than ubuntu gnome so i'd t totally go for this one over that because you just get such a better desktop feel i just love it so much more but this is h top right here now let's take a look at neofetch so Control c and neofetch right here it says that we are we have the nice ubuntu mate logo right here and we are running ubuntu mate 21.04 arch 64 my raspberry pi model and my kernel and we actually have 2091 packages right here and four snap packages already installed so snaps are kind of like my enemy because they use a lot of resources and i don't i'm not a huge fan of this so it's good that we only have a few snaps our terminal right here and we are using the yaru mate light theme and the icon theme is the same so it's still pretty nice i do kind of like this white terminal it looks pretty cool but let's go over and look in the icon theme real fast and see what we're actually using so let's go to appearance so this app is like where you can change your theme your icon theme so it's really useful so our theme right here is the custom ubuntu mate version that comes on this new version we do have a good amount of things pre-installed right here like this yaru mate dark actually looks pretty cool i didn't mean black mate i want yaru mate yeah yaru mate actually looks really nice i really like this it makes my whole desktop darker and it feels really nice look at that it's really beautiful actually i i would rather use that than the white version and background images right here give it a second to load up so we can actually see which background images we have in fonts there's not much new in fonts just the normal ubuntu fonts 
an interface, there are those. So our preview, the background right here, we have actually a lot of good backgrounds in here that I actually already really love. Like this water one, the ocean one does look really nice. With that dark theme plus the ocean wallpaper, I actually really dig this theme. It actually makes it just look, look a lot better and feel a lot better. Like let's open up our file manager and it's also dark. So it just looks really nice and feels the same way. So it's just really nice to have this desktop on here that actually looks good and also feels good. Let's open up Firefox and do a little web browser testing and then we'll be done with this video. So our Firefox also went dark. That is also a really awesome sign. Let's type Pi4 and it defaults to Yandex. So I'm actually going to go right here and switch that to Google real fast. Go to search and anytime I'm going to put that to Google. And then we'll go right here and search for Pi4 once more. Let's close out these two tabs. And yeah, so here's Pi4. I mean, it loaded up pretty darn fast. Here we are. Web browsing is incredibly smooth on this thing. I remember this from the last versions too. It's super smooth and it just feels so nice to be able to web browse like with so much speed on the Raspberry Pi since a lot of distros don't include this type of feature because they're too heavy. Like Ubuntu GNOME, the web browsing feels a bit sluggish, which is kind of a bummer. But it's super fast and it works incredibly well. So let's go over and look at a YouTube video real fast and see how the video performance actually is. So I have this 60 FPS video right here. Give it a second to load. And this is going to be, of course, the classic Big Buck Bunny. Click play. And right here, we'll look at our resolution. And right now we're at 480. Let's just make that 720. So this is a 60 FPS video. So we'll see how the performance actually is. It may not be that good. We might need to drop this down to a normal 720 video. I mean, even this video at 720p, 60 FPS. Look at it. It loads pretty fast. And it already, it just feels smooth. Like, I don't see that screen tearing that I see in a lot of other distributions. So that is just really nice. And Ubuntu Mate has always been known for its awesome video playback. And I can really tell you that we still do hold that performance in 21.04. But it might be, it feels, it used to feel a bit better in the other distributions, to be honest. But we still do have that nice Ubuntu 21.04 with the updated software. So that is that. And now to talk about my final thoughts about this Ubuntu Mate distro. Do I like it? Yes, I, I definitely do like it, but it would be really nice to see a pre-installed desktop image in the near future because it would just really improve things and it would make the installation easier. But this installation still wasn't that hard and it doesn't take that long. So I recommend still trying it out. It's fun process and yeah, so if you're looking to run Ubuntu on your Raspberry Pi, I definitely, str I strongly recommend using Ubuntu Mate or Xubuntu rather than going for Ubuntu GNOME because Ubuntu GNOME is too heavy for the Raspberry Pi in my opinion and you'll just be eating up all your resources but if you go for a more lightweight desktop like Ubuntu Mate, Xubuntu or, or anything like that you'll just be improving your performance a ton and you'll just have a much better experience. So yeah this is Ubuntu Mate on the Raspberry Pi 4. So I hope you guys like this video and it would be awesome if you could subscribe and thanks for watching.